Okay. Hey guys, gonna show you today um, how to make a tire and start our lug nut holes in our wheels. So last class I was showing you how to do the outer rim and I was doing two trials, uh, trial methods. So um, I'm going to delete this surface here and I will take this one right here that I had and revolve this just like we had. Okay, so I uh, outer rim, surface, revolve, okay, start of axis, grid snap is on, end of axis, right through it, zero, 360, okay. All right. Um, I'm going to uh, clean up my curves, put them in layers. So new method, I'm just going to type in S-E-L-C-R-V for select curves. And it'll take all my curves. You can see I got, I got a couple here. And I'll move them into my curve layer. Okay. All right, so for the tire, I like to um, do it in the right side view. You can do it in the top view also. So you got a couple of, you have to think about like what a car tire looks like. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not, you know, motorcycle tire is, uh, it's really round because it's meant for the motorcycle to bank side to side. Um, motorcycle tire versus car tire. Let's see what we got. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So here's the motorcycle tire, okay? And it's meant to, you know, when they they do their turns and they're banking on their sides, the, the tire is supposed to grip the road. So it's got tread going way up and it's rounded. And then a car tire is much more like a flat or rectangular. So I'm gonna go with this kind of shape. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to do it. One way is, um, with the rounded rectangle. So this tool right here, click on rectangle, expand it, go to rounded rectangle. And you got to look at your, you know, your, your size of your wheel. And if I were to go like this, like maybe like right about here, I could then take a polyline and then just bring it straight up inside my wheel. Another polyline straight up. Trim this out. Cutting objects is this and this. Objects to trim is that. Join these three curves up. I should probably put this in a new layer. So let's uh, make a new layer. I'm gonna call it tire. I'll make it black, even though I already have a black layer, I'll, I'll make this layer black. And I'll take this curve. Well, I'm just gonna activate this right now. So I'll take this. And so you can see what I have here is I have this, this kind of looks like a tractor trailer tire, but it, it, it could work. So same thing, surface, revolve. Okay, so where's my revolve axis? I'm just gonna get right on the Y axis there. Zero to 360. And there's my tire. Now I know it's supposed to be black, but I think this computer's red, uh, shaded display is a little messed up. So let me change the color. I will do, what do we not have? Cyan, let me do cyan. Okay, it's better. All right, so that's one way to do it, okay? If you don't like the the look of that, you can try an ellipse diameter, okay? It's another option. So I'll start it right here, and I'm going to go like that. Okay, and so uh, I would 
take this, I'm going to take this, just explode it. And, you know, you can imagine, you could pretend that um, I make this part first, and then I'm going to use these two, this curve and this curve to trim this half here. I'll delete this here. Okay, I'll join these up. Okay, and then surface revolve. Okay, that looks pretty good also. All right, so any way you want, you know, there's other ways to, you could do a control point curve, you could maybe do a conic curve, you could do uh, poly lines and fill with them. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of different ways to make the tires. So, oops, this is sticking out here. So let me trim that off there. We don't want this tire surface sticking out through our rim. So trim, cutting objects is this, enter, objects to trim is that. That looks good. Anything sticking out here? Nope. Okay, good. All right, so lug nut holes. All right, so lug nut holes. I'm going to go into a wireframe so I can see everything a little bit better. I will uh, rename this, this layer here. I'll call them uh, lug nuts. Uh, I'll do lug nut holes. And activate it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my circle tool and grid snap is on. So I think right here is pretty good. And I'm going to pull up. Now you can take grid snap off, turn ortho on. Okay. You definitely have to have ortho on for this and make a lug nut hole that you think you'll, looks correct. You don't want them too big, you know, smashing into the spoke. You don't want it too small. So I'm going to probably go, I mean, honestly, it's, it's saying right now that a uh, diameter of one would work. I'm, I'm looking right down here. So if I were to pull this up, you know, right, one is good. So let me just type in for the diameter. I'm just going to type in one. And yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's see. Where is this? So this, this curve is right out here. Uh, ortho is on. I could just drag this out. Uh, my grid snap was off, so let me turn grid snap back on. And I'll just drag this out. And now what I'm going to do is extrude a, a surface. So surface, extrude curve straight, extrude this surface. And let me hide the tire. And I'm going to go, let me hide the outer rim. There we go. I'm just going to go right through my two, my two spokes. Okay. So I made like a cookie cutter right through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to polar array, just the surface, not the curve. So how about we clean up our layers a little bit and, uh, S E L C R V select my curves and I will put it into curve layer. All right, so I'm going to polar array this five times around. So polar array this center of polar array is the origin. Let me take my endpoint snap off, make sure everything's good. Okay, number of items is five and 360. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Okay. So I call this the cookie cutter method. Okay, it's, it's, um, it tends to work well. So I'm going to go back to shaded display and I'm going to take a cookie cutter, a lug nut cylinder here, lug nut hole cylinder. And I started trim. I selected that as my cutting object. So I'm going to hit, hit enter objects to trim. I want to make a hole in here. One, two, three, four. There we go. I went through all, all the pieces. Let's do it again. So 
select cutting objects. Okay, I'm just right clicking to repeat trim. I'll try to get two of them at a time. Actually, let me get greedy. I'll do all of them. Okay. Objects to trim. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And enter. Okay. Now, you don't want to um, just delete these because you can see here there is no wall thickness. This is just a paper spoke right now. So what I like to do is this method, I call it a double trim. Okay, so check this out. Trim, cutting objects are our two spokes. Enter, objects to trim. Lug nut cylinders. I'm clicking in the top view. Okay, I'll click in the top view again here. And I'm going to get rid of them right here too. Enter. So now I have wall thickness for the lug nut holes. Okay, I think I'm going to join. So I'm going to try to do an accurate join. I'll join all the this stuff together. Okay, it turned it since uh, it moved it into my lug nut layer. So I'm going to move this back into my spider spoke layer. Okay, and let's see. I'll do this. Trim. I'm sorry. Join. And same thing. Put it into there. So let me just move it back into wide spokes. All right. Um, I think that's it for this, vi for this video. Okay. So, uh, thanks for watching and I hope it helps you guys out in class and, um, I will see you later.